Hi, I welcome you back to this wonderful journey of learning structure analysis with StatPro. I'm Sudeep and I'm a structural engineer and the leader of the StatPro technical team at Bentley Systems. I have been working on StatPro at Bentley for 17 years and prior to that I have six years of experience as a structural designer. So do not miss out on this opportunity of learning StatPro with clear concepts from someone who knows StatPro in and out and who has worked with the development and testing teams of StatPro and have supported Stat users around the globe to solve their structural engineering problems. Now we have completed discussing about how the standard steel sections are oriented about the local access system. We know about the default orientation of the local access system. In case you have any doubts about the default orientation, please refer to the two consecutive sessions where I have discussed this in details. The link of the first of those sessions is appearing on the screen right now. Now, since we are aware of how the steel and concrete sections are oriented about the local access system, we know how those sections will be arranged in space by default. Today, we will start discussing about assigning the steel sections from the standard database. But before we go forward, please take a moment to hit the like button and the subscribe button, which will help you get notified when we post a new video. But before we go forward, we need to understand what are steel section databases. Steel companies around the world manufactures the standard steel sections, which has certain specified dimensions and sectional properties. The catalog of such standard sections, along with the dimensions and sectional properties, are called the steel section databases. For example, let us consider the steel company ArcelorMittal who produces the European steel section. Now, if we go into Google and search with the keyword ArcelorMittal Orange Book, and if we hit enter, out of the search items, the first item would reveal the ArcelorMittal's Orange Book. Orange Book is nothing but the company's section database. Now, if we click on the section properties, it takes us straight into the section properties of the IPE European section. So now, if we hold our mouse over the drop down switch, we can see that the other categories of the section database. So, if you are not interested in finding out the section properties of IP sections, you can hold down on this switch and select any particular category that you are after. The categories can be channels, can be angles, or any other shapes. Now, let us continue to work in this uh, section database page for the IP sections. Now, on the left, we can see the section designation uh, where the names of various sections are being displayed. And we can see the section dimensions given in this table for each of these sections um, on, the, on the right of the section designation in appropriate units. Now, the symbols of all these uh, sectional dimensions like H, which represents the depth of the section, B, the width of the section, TW as the thickness of the web, etc. This has been represented to <coughs> in the figure here on the top to illustrate what those symbols really mean with respect to the I section. Now, uh, I probably have said that the IP sections are nothing but I sections and the shapes of the IP sections is being designated on the top of the screen here. We also have the sectional properties uh, tabled here, like we can see the second moment of area, which is nothing but the moment of inertia and which we have discussed a lot about. In case you do not recall what the moment of inertia is, you can refer to the session where I have discussed this. The link would be appearing on the top right of the screen right now. Also, if we go further right, we can see the cross-sectional area. to just go further right and we can see the last column of the table 
represents the cross-sectional area of the section. Now, if you do not recall what a cross-sectional area is, you can refer to a couple of sessions where we have discussed this. The link of the first one of them is appearing on the top of the screen right now. There are other section properties that have been mentioned here, which we have not discussed as yet, so I would not mention them right now. Similarly, there are databases of the sections produced by other companies like the AISC, British Steel, Tata, Zindal, Sail, and so on. AIC produces the American Steel section, the British Steel produces the British Steel sections, the rest of the companies that I had mentioned produces the Indian Steel sections. Remember that for now we are only considering the hot roll sections. Hot roll sections are steel sections that has been rolled at high temperatures. There is another category of steel sections called the coal form steel, which we will not discuss now. Now we will see how we can assign steel sections from an existing database from within StatPro. So we will work with this goalpost frame model where we will assign our required steel section. And let us say that we want to assign an IPE a80 section which is an European section to all the members of this frame. The first thing that we need to ensure is that we are in the analytical mode and we are in the properties tab. Currently we are in the geometries tab so we click on the properties tab to be in the analytical mode properties tab. Now how do you know that you are in the analytical mode properties tab? Well from this box that would appear on the right side of the screen. The properties whole structure box would be displayed if you are in the analytical model, modeling properties mode. So once we have the properties whole structure box available, we go and click on this button called the section database. If we click on this, this will take us to all the different section databases that is available within Stat Pro. We can see a variety of section database within StatPro. All of these are the hot roll steel section databases. We can see the American sections. We can see the Australian sections, Brazilian, British, Canadian, Chinese, Dutch, European, French, German, Indian. We have also a few section databases named exclusively after the company which has manufactured them like the Zindal section database which has been created by the company Zindal. We have uh, Tata Structura as for example <clears throat> which has been created by the company Tata Steel. Now if we actually expand the American database we can see the variety of categories that are available within one particular section database. We have the W shape, M shape, S shape, we have the channels, we have the angles, we have the tubes, pipes, we have the HSS sections, etc. So there is a database which is named after the country or the company which has manufactured them and under those databases we have several subcategories which which is related to the various section categories that are available within that database. Now, our goal is to assign the European IPEA 80 section to the frame model. So, the first thing that we need to do is to go to the European database, and the first database or the sub database that we have is the IPE shape. So, we go to the right side and we have all the section names that is listed, all the IP section names listed in this window. So if we go down and we will have the IPE80 section as <coughs> listed here. Now, in case you are interested to understand what are the sectional dimensions of the IPE80 sections and what are the sectional properties, you need to click on this button called the view table. Now if you click on this table, you can see that uh, all the section tables, uh, the section table uh, of, the, of the IP section has popped up, which has the various sectional properties and various sectional dimensions as <clears throat> listed. Now one of the things is that um, 
I would not at this point explain all the various uh, sectional dimension and sectional properties in here, but uh, we will consider that at some let later point of time. Now, if we go down and if we want to see what are the sectional dimensions of IPEA 80 section, we can see these values as here. <clears throat> now, let us close this section. Now, note that the material box is checked on and the material is already selected as steel. Now, once we have selected the appropriate IPA 80 section, we have the appropriate material that is selected. We click on the add button and close this box. You will see that the IPEA 80 section has now been assigned or has been put into the properties whole structure box. Now, you already are aware of how to use the properties whole structure box uh, from our last session where when we had talked about assigning concrete sections to the members. And uh, we had also discussed the various assignment procedures. Um, if you have not seen that particular session or uh, you have forgotten about that, I request you to go and check those sessions where I have discussed the various assignment procedures in details. The link of the first of those session would be appearing on the top right of the screen right now. Now, in this case, we want to assign this IPEA 80 section to all the members of the frame. So we will select the assign to view option, which will help us to assign all the sections to all the members of this particular frame. So I click on the assign button and it says, whether I want to proceed with the assignment process that I have selected and I say yes to them and I can see that this section which has a reference number of one has been assigned to all of the members in the frame. R1 refers to reference number one. Now I have also discussed the reference numbers in the session where I had discussed the assignment of the concrete section. Now, once this uh, assignment procedure has been completed, let me right click, let us go to the structure diagrams and let us switch on the full section view. And we can see that the IP sections has been assigned to all the, sec uh, to all the members of the frame. And you can see the I-beams being assigned to each of the frame members. Now note that uh, the connection is center to center and uh, that is the default way by which we do uh, the structural analysis and I just wanted to re reiterate <coughs> that this is not the way it would be built inside but for the from the analysis point of view this does not make a difference so we will go ahead with the center to center connection for the analysis of the structure now, what we have discussed today would help you understand how we can assign the sections directly from the section database to the members in the structure. In the next session, we would see how we can assign special sections like a T-section, a double angle, and a double channel section, which is made out of the standard section from the section database. I hope you have liked the session today. Please do hit the like and subscribe button to get notified when I add a new session to this channel. This would also help the contents to reach out to the students, which can turn out to be very helpful for them. I hope to see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye.